Deontay Wilder's anointed messenger. Check. Yes, yes, sir. You know, I want to bring out the best thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you need to get silent in a good way. You with the one and only boxing guru. For this episode of Under the Microscope, we're going to focus in on the heavyweight landscape on the PBC side. Now that Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury trilogy is not going to happen anytime soon. For whatever reason why this fight is not taking place, we have to move forward. At this point of Deontay Wilder's career, I think he needs to set his own mark. He needs to start an eight-man tournament on the PBC side while AJ and Fury fight their two fights in 2021. So the winner of his eight-man tournament could, um, you know, reclaim their um, winning self because all these fighters are coming off losses and they can make their claim as the number one contender to fight the winner of AJ versus Fury. In my opinion, I think Deontay Wilder should use some of his pay-per-view money and some of his step-aside money if they gave it to him since this trilogy fight is not happening because I believe he should have took the step-aside money and went down this road because at this stage of his career, he can become the promoter and he can set the fights up. I think the fights should be, take place in Brooklyn, New York at the Barclay Center because Barclay is, is known for good, great boxing on the East Coast. It's the king of boxing over there. Plus, it has legendary heavyweight champs in the past, which include Iron Mike Tyson out of Brownsville, Brooklyn. Then you had Riddick Big Daddy Bo. Then you had uh, Shannon the Cannon Briggs. And then you have the Polar Sensation, who should be in this tournament, Adam Konofsky. So the list goes on of Brooklyn heavyweight fighters. So in my opinion, these heavyweight um the heavyweight uh, contest should consist of Deontay Wilder, Adam Konoski, it should be Luis Ortiz, and um, Andy Ruiz. You should have uh, uh, Gerald Washington. You should have uh, Dominic Brazil and Charles Martin. Those would be my eight participants in Deontay Wilder's eight-man tournament to see who will become the number one um, challenger for AJ and Fury after their two fights. So it's very important that, in my opinion, that Deontay Wilder follow this path. This is another anointed message from the boxing guru to Deontay Wilder. So it's very critical because this will give him a chance and give all the uh, participants in this eight-man tournament a chance to showcase to the fans that you know, we are a legitimate contender, so we can rejuvenate our career. And I think Deontay Wilder should step out and call these guys up and give them an opportunity and sit down and talk to Al because this would be perfect for uh, 2021 on the PBC side. All the fights being held at the Barclays Center. Once New York left a bands where people can come back into the arena. So I think this is a, a beautiful match or a beautiful road to redemption for Wilder or all the other participants because it gives them a chance to come back after losses. So Deontay Wilder should be looking forward to doing promotional things if he don't have his own promotional company. And this tournament would, would legitify the rest of his career because this would give him the platform to make, you know, good money and to uh, showcase that he still is the king of the division in the heavyweight. So these are my words from the boxing guru, another anointed message for the one and only Deontay Browns Bomber Wilder. Subscribe to me if you want more of the boxing guru show. Come get it. 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 Come get it.
Come get it. Of Loma Chinko beating Telefimo.